Hey guys, BTC here, and this is Dead Stick and Dave. Look for his seminar on the Bass University. <laughs> Dead Stick and You by Dave Haas. Tonight, after we get this hooked up, we're going to go on to plumbing the live well. We're going to get all the uh, holes drilled in the live well, use uh, a sealant, uh, 3M5200, for sealing all the fittings up, run all the plumbing, run all the pipe, all the tubing from the outside the boat to the inside of the boat hopefully wire up the pumps tonight too so everything's up and running that'd be awesome live all full live all system done yeah it's gonna be an awesome live well man no souls will be left behind with this live well come on let's pump What was that? Say it one more time. <laughs> wooder. <laughs> Dave, what, where should our wooder level be? <laughs> one rule of pumps and insta installation. Make sure you clean that out. Don't get any trash in that. That will choke out a pump instantly. You don't want an aeration pump going lose a five pounder now. No soles left behind. No soles left behind. Holla! This hole here, this is going to be for the pump. This is the one that's going to recirc up to this two-way valve. This valve works as a fill, a spray head, aeration head, and it also works as a pump out. It has a little pull head on it. It's in a lot of bass boats too. I put them in a lot of aluminum boats, but you pull this out and it changes the flow, which where, which direction the water's gonna go. It'll either be recircling into here or it'll go in and go out and pump out the back of the boat, which is where we're gonna put the pump out hole so you can fill your live well bag when you're winning tournaments. And what's this hole? This hole is gonna be for the fill pump. The, water, the fresh water coming in, and this one is going to be for. It's the almost overflow. like the road runner drew that hole. I mean, it looks like it's already there. You know, like I don't need to drill, draw. <laughs> like that's the one. Wiley, Wiley Coyote, Coyote drew. Yeah. Or it was wait, it was Wiley Coyote, Coyote drawing drew it. it. Uh, and the road runner was like, nah, 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 it's that hole. It ain't <laughs> that hole. This is just stuff for people to hate on right here. What would they be saying right now? I don't know. Fingers, death, children, baby seals. That's not how you do it. Save the whales. So what are we doing right here? Boat modification. <laughs> Trying to get a little more room for this pump to sit nice and square to the hull. The other pump was a little smaller than this one. Cut a little bit of the bottom pan out. This will uh, sit nice and square against the back, the back of the hull, so that this this washer sits square to the hull, so there's no leakage. So, put some foam in, foam insulation down there. This isn't the best thing for this uh, what you really want to use is a closed cell marine grade polyurethane foam but for me all i'm looking to do here is to deaden the noise from the live well to the decking um, and offer some cushion there to kind of bed it in a, a, a seat of foam so we'll see how this works it's a can i had from a job left over so Mark. so what we have here is we have a there's a three and a half inch hole through the deck down into the um into the hull we put a drain plug in the bottom of the live well there's a pump out in the live well but you always end up with about 10 20 percent of the water still in the live well so we put a drain plug in the bottom of the live well it'll land right over top of that and for that bit of slime and sludge and crawfish parts and shad guts and heads and tails and noses and we just pull that plug and that stuff will wash down into the bottom of the boat and slide out so we put that bed of uh, foam underneath the live well, drop the live well into place. We've got two PVC, ABS, hard plastic uh, shims in there. That's holding the live well in place. We got it flush with the top of the decking right here. And we've got our drain plug sitting in the bottom right over top of that hole that goes down through the deck into the floor. We've also got the oxygenator installed. Um, that went in on that side. That's an oxygenator from TH Marine. I mean, basically, if you've had a fish tank, it's kind of like a bubbler, right? 
It just yeah. it just, just makes natural pure yeah, oxygen. Yeah, it doesn't create current or pump or anything like that. It, it just, just creates bubbles. Yeah, it just dumps pure oxygen into the water. Pretty key, man. Pretty key. And it, it just runs off a 12 volt. 12 volt. 12 volt tip. Yep, just just steady bubbling. Every day we bubbling. So the way this live well is set up, we have a pump in. A recirc. <laughs> this is a pretty cool, pretty cool setup. This is my man's right here, right? We have a pump out, which is also the recirculating pump. There's a combination switch on here, a little pull valve right here. Pull it forward. Is that recirc? Pumps out. That's pull forward is pump out. Pump out. Push and it push in, in. Is airy. Yep. So why that pumps work, and it's either recirculate and pumping that water through the through the tank, or you do like that, and then we've got our pump out right in the back there. We also have an overflow for when you go to fill the live well and forget, so it's not <laughs> dumping all into the boat, which sometimes that happens too. But we have an overflow right here, up high in the back, and uh, that goes down through here and out the side. Um, and then again, we also have a drain plug in the bottom for what the pump out doesn't get, and we have soldering. Solder connections, no butt connections. Yeah, no crimps. No, no crimps, no butt connections. You can't have failure in the connections. This live well has two Johnson 750, 750 gallon per hour um, pumps. Again, one one is to pump in, one's to pump out and recirculate. And then our Johnson bilge pump. Bilge pump. Big Johnson. Back of the boat here, right next to the drain plug, the, the uh, hole, you'll see there's this flap of aluminum. This little L flap of aluminum. That's where the old bilge pump was mounted. It's for the bilge pump. We screwed our new bilge pump right there. Got our hose on and it goes to a hole out of the back of the boat up high. And then this bilge will be wired to our switch panel and it'll be on a switch on off for the bilge pump. The other good bilge thing is about time. those is they're all interchangeable. The cartridges go fit all of them. So you just buy one cartridge and if the pump goes, the bilge pump goes, Hold on. If your recirculating cartridge goes, you could take your cartridge out of your pump in yeah. and, and pop it into the recycling. I wouldn't recommend it because if you pull that, you, as soon as you pull that cartridge, yeah. what boat fills up real fast. Yeah. How about for the bilge? Bilge, same way. No, no, because the boat no, don't yeah. fill. No, that's right. Now, the bilge, you can pull the bilge. That's right. Yeah, you can right. pull your bilge. You're just taking that chance. Yeah, the, the boat, the, if the boat doesn't have water in it. Can't live forever, people. But your fish need to. So pull your cartridge out of your bilge and put it in your live well. Don't be selfish. Keep a couple. It saves extra. one fish's life. It's worth it. <laughs> Keep a couple of extra wire nuts in the boat. This is true. I actually ordered an extra cartridge. How much for cartridges? They were like twenty. Twenty-eight bucks. Yeah, twenty-eight 20 bucks. bucks. So I ordered an extra cartridge. It'll be in the bin with the extra um, parts. Uh, yeah, pieces, parts. Prop, prop nut. Shear pin, zip ties, electrical tape, what else? Screwdriver. Screwdriver, penis pump, all of the above. That's all not, the all the things that a man must have. That's not my bag, baby. On his, on his boat. <laughs> that's not my bag, baby. I, Valdez <laughs> left it in my boat, I swear. <laughs> I swear. So we're in the water. Uh, boat floated off the trailer in the pond here uh, so far. Doesn't look like we've got any water in the boat. We'll find out tonight for sure. At this point, it's time to check all the hardware, all the plumbing, and start whacking stuff on the switch panel here to see that the pumps work, the live well works, the circulating pump, the pump out, all of that. There we go. All right, we're pumping in. That's an awesome sign. You gotta be careful sometimes when you plumb these things, you add a little bit too much footage to your hoses and, and your pumps won't create suction. Um, but like I said, my, my partner in this project, Dave Haas, is a master and he's he's already learned his lessons um, trial and error and this thing is this thing's kicking it. So we're gonna let this fill up. When this fills up, there's a valve in here that all I do is hit that valve and it goes from pumping in to recirculating. So as soon as this gets filled up, we'll hit that John and see how that's running. As you can see, the live well's coming together through the TH Gen 2 coal system on here. 
top riveted into the top. They send two-sided tape, but I don't think that would hold up. So I just pop, ran some pop rivets through that. And this bad boy's right there. So we've got enough water in the live well, and I'm gonna hit the next pump that was live well fill. Watch, we don't get spray on the camera. This might be violent. All right, cool, she's doing it. Now the best part about this fitting right here, this fitting is super key to this live well build. Um, and we'll list the part in the description, but this fitting right here, you pull that out, and if you went to the back of the boat, right now we're pumping the water out of the live well. We're now draining the live well. Got the oxygenator on. This is a TH Marine product. Dumps pure oxygen into the live well. See that? That's the juice right there, pure O2. If your mother inhaled pure oxygen when she was pregnant with you, you're probably a lot smarter. That's what I've read in books and heard on podcasts. Um, so think about it. And uh, that's it for the live well, man. Everything seems to be operating awesome and I uh, can't wait to put some fatties in there. Oh, one more thing. Be able to see this better at night, but we put an LED light in the live well as well. And um, there you go, you can see the reflection. For those night derbs, got the light, light them up. There you have it. And that's it for this one. Next week, we get a special visit from uh, an absolute expert in small boats, Jeff Little. Uh, he's coming from Torquedo to really show us how to lay this boat around. He suggests a, a very dynamic change to our boat layout, which we'll get into. And he dials us into this Torquedo motor, an absolute game changer. If you're fishing small boats, electric only stuff, the Torquedo is BA. So see you next week, guys. Thanks.